the 21st day already of 2023. I'm going to be your host tonight, Dana Durnford. I hope you're doing well. We got lots of news to cover. Everybody's good to go. Um, let's get after it. So, nuclear industry is. I don't know what you call it, but it's not an industry unless death is an industry. It's uh, shocking that the world doesn't understand what's going on. It's confusing, to say the least. That's uh, just after the nuclear meltdown to your left. It's the Medusa reactor, number three, to mix oxide fuel facility. They gutted it and left this little stump for a confusing amount of time. Then we worked out what they were up to. They put this contraption there to pretend they were getting the fuel out of the pools at the very top of the building that no longer exists. They had done the same thing for Reactor 4, which you're looking at. They had put this contraption over it and then pretended the pictures to the left were the real ones instead of one to the right. And uh, the world's media come out and perpetrated that fable upon us. Recently, we've seen a lot of media, and academics in particular, and professors worrisomely who are in charge of our loved ones in a vulnerable position as their brains are developing and they're getting an education we entrust them to the universities and by proxy then to the professors, yes? This professor, who's an actual professor, uh, Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering, claimed that the discharge is like throwing three sugar cubes, three grams of sugar into the ocean. Uh, these buildings had millions of pounds in the storage pools, let alone the actual reactors that were running. It's very worrisome that they would say something like that. And we're seeing that through all professors, all academics, all universities, all scientists making these uh, unrealistic claims. They, you know, they never thought this lied through very much, I don't think. They said the total amount of tritium, tritium, the reactors were fully uranium and plutonium, he said the approximately 2.2 grams of tritium and the release each year will be 0 0.06 grams per year, the Nuclear Society of South Korea wrote. So if you divide this one gram gold coin by 16 times, 16.6666666666, then you get 0 0.6, 0 0.06 grams a year. So each year to be one sixteenth of that gold coin, or this uh, little bit of salt, spoonful of salt, uh, quarter spoonful of salt weighed 1.32 grams. If you divide that by 22, then one of those 22 is the 0 0.062 grams that the author, the professor of the Department of Nuclear Quantum Engineering in South Korea, and all media is worldwide, and International Atomic Energy Agency. That's the official story as of July the 23rd of this year. What was interesting is they picked up 60 million one-ton bags 60 million one-ton bags. Officially, we know they picked up 30 million one-ton bags. But the story has grown through the media to a 60 million one-ton bags. I'll, I'll play a clip of that. And, and that assertion was never challenged. There's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored, outside the Fukushima Daiichi perimeter fence. So 
because the buildings actually blew up and there was four of them i'm showing you two because that's hopefully really easy for you to comprehend how big enormous and disappointingly the not the lie that they're perpetrating actually is the international atomic energy agency's current chief um which is united nations subsidy I'd like to emphasize the release of the water at Fukushima is a national decision by the government of Japan. Well, they don't own the Pacific Ocean or the atmosphere, do they? And that this report is neither a recommendation nor an endorsement of the policy. This is Grossi's word. He wrote in a foreword to the comprehensive report recently released by the agency that it's up to the Japanese government, and that not a, they're not a regulatory agency. You can go read it yourself. The media has seized upon that, and has um, endorsed it. I think is a more kind word to be using. So there was four buildings. I'm showing you two reactor three up there and reactor four over there directly after, but. The stumps that remain should have been razed to the ground. And if you took these two stumps and stacked them on top of each other, they're not as tall as the bottom rung of the, the framing for the Kevlar sarcophagus that they had around reactor one for five years, which is an identical twin. So that bottom run right there is the, that top part right there, which is taller than those two building steps stacked on each other okay <coughs> the plume models from many different major institutions governments worldwide showed radioactive fallout covering the entire planet but the official story is that the total amount in a thousand tanks is equal to one sixteenth of that one gram gold coin. That's what's in a thousand tanks. And the official story is that didn't happen. That's absolutely not true. That's the official story. The poll last night um, was dismal for the votes. Should it be a criminal for the International Atomic Energy Agency to claim that Fukushima never released anything, only 2.2 grams of tritium. And each day would be one, or each year would be zero, 0.122 of what that little tiny bit of salt flakes you see there. Or each year would be equal to 1 16th of that coin emissions over 12 months from a thousand tanks into the ocean. Now, not a single media has showed us these pictures when they're making these assertions. Australia, again, is promoting nuclear technology. Despite the fact that they have laws banning nuclear power plants because previous uh, Congress there have recognized the danger of these factories that should be described as disease factories because they can't contain the radiation. Japan promotes tourism and food in New York City to promote the country's tourism and food. Participants enjoyed scallops from Hakido, which is uh, right at the very end of Japan, northerly Japan, far, far away from Fukushima, and sake from Fukushima and Nagano prefectures. Nagano is incredibly radioactive wasteland. And it's not from tritium. In a video message to the Japanese Prime Minister, 
Kashida called for support for safe and delicious. And we've heard this a lot over the years, this narrative of delicious. Following the August 24th start of the release of Tritium, August the 24th. So up until August the 24th, the official narrative is nothing got out of that building, nothing. Despite the fact the buildings are actually, were 190 feet tall and are actually gone. The task of easing tritium fears, the task of easing tritium fears. Again, when you look at just two of the four buildings that were completely destroyed and that had two fuel pools at the top of each building with decades of reactor cores, you definitely should be concerned. I got no idea what this contraption is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the water mixing release into the ocean. But when you're looking at it, it doesn't even make sense, does it? So officially, if you divide this little tablespoon, a quarter tablespoon of salt by 22, that's how much they're going to release each year through these creatures right there. Despite the fact there's nothing left in the buildings. Well, there's a little bit, right? But the majority of reactor three and four are obviously gone. And uh, yeah, there's some fra fractions, a very tiny, maybe 1% of the total inventories is left. Reactor one and two, the reactor cores have gone China syndrome from the best we can tell. Reactor 1 detonated the fuel pool. It burnt constantly. It's gone, which is probably 10 to 12 reactor cores. And reactor 2, we believe, when the evidence clearly shows, it should say, that the reactor core liquefied, which means it has left the building completely and gone deep into the earth at 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. And the evidence is overwhelming that that is what happened. And we know the fuel pool burnt constantly for two days, which meant that when it reached uh, high temperatures, it too would have straight down through the cement, the metal, and into the earth. It split the earth in six places where the steam coming out of the ground is at 10 sieverts per hour, and that's forever. And when you hear the word treated and wastewater, you can't treat it. And it's not wastewater, it's fuel water. It's water fuel of fuel particulates. If you try to filter it, the filter is going to have a chain reaction. If you try to put it in a tank, uh, you're talking about m several million sieverts in a tank, which means you can't build another tank on site. So a specialist in tritium is a professor In the Department of Science, Ibaragi University Graduate School of Science and Engineering. And he's got an incredible amount of education. He's, in, he's actually the expert panel member for the ALPS Treated Water Murray Monitoring Information. And so I was wondering who that was had that particular job because it's very difficult to get any actual information from these people. And so what he'd done was he'd done a whole article where he turned tritium basically into chicken feathers. Many people never heard the word tritium until recent. My origin as a researcher was watching the TV AIM mobile suit Gundam. Uh, the mechanism, the mecha suit and the AIMs were powered by tritium, folks. So tritium was the source that powered these fictitious characters in cartoons and comic books. Tritium. Tritium 3H, by the way, not just tritium, but... Ex and this professor, again, a professor, uh, willing and able and viciously stabbing us with disinformation. We're powered by tritium. One of the research topics now is how to safely handle the fuel 
to achieve compact, highly efficient fusion reactors. Well, they might have coal fission and they're keeping it secret because of uh, some of the weapons that we've seen them use over the last decade uh, and a half, well, two decades, uh, suggest that that is true. The reason people are afraid of monsters is they do not understand what they are, which is, which is true. If you actually knew what kind of monster this professor is, you would be scared of them. Anyway, he wrote a very elaborate article. He shows pictures from TEPCO. Uh, if you remove the salt, and, other, and he's calling tritium salt, if you remove the salt, the pre-release water itself would have no effect on a human body if drunk. Even if you drank the tritium bearing, treated, treated of all things, water, for a year, there would be no serious impact from an external, internal exposure. This is the tunnel they dug to dunk the tritium way offshore. His students, who are now weaponized against humanity for the rest of their lives, have run experiments. So his official story is that each year, if you divide that kind by 16 times and call it tritium, that's how much they're going to release each year. And they're going to do that for 30 years. Or if you divide this by 22 times of salt, with a little bit of salt, and you know how hard it is to see salt flakes, right? Very small. And that's how much they're going to release each year. Again, this is, you know, for him to claim, for that professor, if that's what you want to call him, I think it's more appropriate to call him a mass murderer. Doesn't that make more sense? Because the, the buildings are actually gone. So he's in charge of your children, and now he's going to murder them by being the person in charge of the, the so-called tritium fable. And there's, uh, there's an endless, endless, it's endless amount of people out there with disinformation from the industry and they got all the media, the media will regurgitate the same narrative everywhere else to give them a boost or just link them back to this story even. Japan's plan is safe fact and fictions, fact and science about the Alps treated water system which didn't work in 2014. So where did all the water go? To pour in water over the melted reactor cores. So when you pour water over melted reactor cores, your fuel particles is in the water. You can't filter it. You can't. It can't be done, because you can't change the filter after twenty minutes. You can't get back in the building ever again. And this is why. Uh, let, me, let me just run through that again for everybody in case there's. I'm very worried about this. We are in real trouble and there's nobody out there challenging the false narrative. Except for myself, just providing the documentation. They had uh, a thousand tanks in 2013. So how come they only got a thousand tanks in 2023, 10 years later? But just to make sure you're on the right page. In 2014, in April, the advanced liquid processing system, ELP, had yet to function. It had yet to function. In 2014 also, uh, six months later, the Riva system, which is France's water filtration system, which is the same thing, had been unused because you can't filter the water. It was built to manipulate you, but you stopped paying attention, see? The groundwater bypass operation didn't work. The 
they're going to build a fence. You can't build a fence to stop radiation. It's ridiculous to suggest you can. That didn't work, and they, they were going to spend a billion dollars on the ice wall. Didn't not only didn't meet it. Why would you build an ice wall? And are you really surprised it didn't meet expectations? The Siri system in 2013, we never heard of that after. But it was interesting that they acknowledged that the plant had released enormous amount of highly contaminated water directly into the ocean from a plethora of leaks from the reactor buildings. Well, I mean, there's, there's no leaks in the reactor buildings. The reactor buildings don't even exist, right? There's, there's nothing. These should have been torn to the ground. There's nothing there. So they, they kept it so they can put contraptions over it and pretend they got the fuel out of the pool. They got the finance minister in South Korea, I believe that's South Korea, stressed safety of the seafood consumption despite the concern about Fukushima water, which of course has never stopped hemorrhaging out for 12 years. Nobody is willing to show you these pictures and say the same statements. Finance Minister, yeah, that's so Korea, I'm pretty sure. Seafood will be safe despite lingering concerns, and the water can't be treated. We are carrying out, and I'll, like, I'll give you irrefutable evidence in every one of these shows. And first off, if that's not irrefutable evidence that there's something else got it, what, what actually is? They're allegedly going to closely monitor the situation, take necessary measures. They sent nuclear scientists to Fukushima before the so-called release, and there was 18 nuclear scientists from South Korea. They didn't even take their own samples. They took TEPCOs. And scallops are filter feeders, which bioaccumulate the radiation 125,000 times more than a fish or a tuna would. So remember, like the big picture, the alleged one sixteenth of that kind is, or two of those kinds is the total that's in a thousand tanks, but one sixteenth of that particular kind is the total release each year is what they're talking about. And you're talking about buildings that don't even exist, that have lost millions and millions of pounds each. And you're in real harm. Your, your life is compromised. You need to have a conversation. You can't pretend that is some bizarre... Like 122, divide 22 into that salt, divide it 22 times, and one of them is how much they're going to release each year in tritium is the official story, as of. And then I started, that official story never showed up for 12 years, and it showed up on, on um, July the 13th of this year which is 2023, if you're watching this uh, 100 years or 1,000 years in the future. U.S. Congress members enjoy sushi with quality seafood from Fukushima, quality seafood, and claim that the boycott of China, which is meant to promote the tritium law, create a controversy based upon a law. Because all China's got to do is come out and show these two reactors. And the people in the J in Chinese media that are writing the stories, I have emailed them these pictures, by the way. So this is the American Congress, around 40 American Congress members participated in selling in destroying your future and your loved ones and your children and your country's future. And all of this is to promote the nuclear industry on top of that. Forty members of the U.S. House of Representatives took part and enjoying sushi made with fresh uh, Fukushima fish at the United States Capitol on September the 18th. 
The bipartisan event brought together men and women in the U.S. Congress, including influential figures. And crucially, the gathering served as a clear protest for the Chinese government's ongoing boycott of Japanese food, including fish from Fukushima, which is meant um, to promote the lie that nothing got out on tritium. So South Korea, Taiwan, and China, nuclear industries, and by proxy, then the government are working hand in hand with Japan to hoodwink the Asian community, which is a big community. But then also you can't, they're hoping to ignite and they have protests, which I'm assuming is false protests in North America. And these protests are by the nuclear industry to promote the tritium fable. Congr Congressman Gallagher, which is the House Speaker, says Japanese seafood, including those from Fukushima, are guaranteed for their safety. So you get your money back if you get cancer or heart problems, or liver problems, or lung problems, or respiratory, or pituitary, or thyroid, or adrenaline, or Alzheimer's, or dementia. You can get your money back, that's what they're saying. It's guaranteed not to give you cancer, but if it does, we'll give you your money back. There are 1,800 diseases besides cancer. The measures are clearly cohesive in nature and have no merit according to the International Atomic Energy Agency whose official narrative is one sixteenth of that coin in tritium is all that's going to be released from a thousand tanks on the site each year. For, it's going to take them 30 years to release two of these one gram size coins of tritium. It's so ridiculous. Uh, it's obviously not thought out. But it's obviously they're counting on the population being completely complacent about nuclear, having no zero ability to research, zero ability to for decision making, zero critical thinking skills is the only way that they will come out with a sustained campaign worldwide of that kind of story. Tritium remains below detectable levels in water off Fukushima. Yeah, because it's drowned out by all the uranium, plutonium, and americium, and neptunium, and strontium, and everything else. And almost any academic of any discipline can come out and tell you that story and has also refused to. Japan's environment minister says tritium and seawater off the Fukushima Daiichi power plant remains below remains below detectable levels so how can a anything remain below detectable levels I hate it when people text me when I'm trying to record. They don't they don't seem to want to text me until I start to record worldwide for some reason. It's okay, I'm not saying don't do it, I'm just saying it drives me nuts. The first round of the water release was completed on September eleventh, of all days. And you're not allowed to talk about September eleventh on YouTube. You're not allowed to have that debate. You are not allowed to question any of the narratives of September 11. Nothing. The Environment Ministry says the concentrations of tritium, of tritium, suggest that tritium is something you should worry about, is so far removed from reality. They say at 11 points below the minimum, Detectable levels of 10 becquerels per liter of seawater. It's, it's absurd that we're having this narrative being bludgeoned worldwide with this lie. You got every media, every university, every academic, every professor that's in the media cutting your throat. 
you don't understand how important it is to to fight back because nobody's fighting back and that's why I'm saying that typical plans to carry out three more rounds of the fake water discharge by the end of next March it plans to start the second and you're not allowed to talk about what I'm sh what the stuff I'm showing you I'm censored worldwide because I'm talking about the documentation I'm censored worldwide I can't even stream on YouTube or Rumble, and that started on August the 24th, same day the alleged dumping of the water was about to start, which has been going on for 12 years, though. And YouTube says they didn't censor me, and Rumble just won't answer me. But I was streaming no issues for a decade on YouTube, and on August the 24th, I can't stream, and I can't even bring up the page to set up a stream. And they got no one else to pick on. And so they got me tortured. And the world is not supporting me. I can't comprehend it. It's a fatal mistake for Earth and the 8 million species not to challenge their despicable narrative. It's a disgusting betrayal of humanity. And imagine you're being paid to censor somebody like me. And you got to go home and tell your loved ones that you're actually a good person. How does that actually work, I wonder? What kind of disconnect do you have to have to do that? So, like, I can go through all of these stories, and there's lots of them again today, every day since July the 23rd, and before that. But July the 23rd, that's when this story showed up, that the mountain released each year is equal to dividing that tiny, tiny bit of salt by 22 and then take one of them and that's what they're releasing each year and treat you and and they show you these people who obviously don't understand anything I can show you that all day and I do restoring the reputation of Japan's fish and seafood following Fukushima water release which has been going on for 12 years Help the public understand radiation advises a cancer expert, which is Geraldine Thomas, or Jerry Thomas. I have seen her name pronounced as Geraldine, though. And this was at the World Nuclear Association, uh, 2018 in London. Now, she's a cancer expert, and she spends all of her spare time lying about radiation. So what do you think happens to the people that she, uh, and she sets policies for United Kingdom and many other countries, she's the expert, right? And she spent her whole career destroying humans. It's shocking what her crimes are. It's absolute murder on a level you probably can't comprehend. Hokkaido City demands suspension of water release. So again, all of these narratives is about saying nothing is getting out of these buildings and that these pictures don't exist, these are not real. Because that's the only way you can promote that particular narrative is to make, and they're talking about tritium, right? Tritium, so you get treated tritium and then water. Okay, so the equivalent of 20 nuclear power stations at full capacity is what Germany was producing in 2012 with solar. If you married that up with storage technology, that's proof of concept, see? Extreme increase in mortality caused by cardiac diseases in Japan. Not from tritium, but because the buildings are actually long gone they were gone on day six the figure might give the creeps to some people the number of deaths was up 12.5 percent 12,695 extra people died in the same month compared to the same month of the year before so this is a one month 
a spike in heart attacks, death by heart attack. Almost uh, 13,000 extra people in a single month. The number of deaths caused by tumors, cancer, was up 7.7% from the same month of the year before. And the number of cardiac diseases was up 14.6% to 2,500 and almost 2,600 extra people compared to any other month. Uh, or compared to any other year. So this, this was a abnormality that didn't get explained away. And the cancer rates in Japan in the first year, a single year, was an extra 865,000 cancers across the country being treated. And cancer is typically the last one to show up. There's 1,800 diseases and not everybody got health care. Not everybody was diagnosed. Not everybody understood that they were uh, seriously harmed, see? There was 14.2% of children need open heart surgeries per 100,000. That's 14,200 children all of a sudden need open heart surgery. Um, there was 35.6% of the children out of 40,000 had tumors on their thyroids of two centimeters. And the thyroid is only three by five centimeters. Pre-Fukushima was one in a million, maybe two in a million. If you took your statistics around nuclear power plants. White blood cell count spikes in Fukushima workers. 3,000 plus may not have used the dosimeters at the disease factories. Here. I just want to bring up some pictures in between these stories that we're covering. So, 3,000 plus, their white blood cells have spiked, which is them attacking the radiation in their body. There was a, 2019 was 105,000 sites like this. Fukushima Daiichi workers, which are the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society, immigrants who don't speak the language, were ordered to cover dosimeters with lead plates. And in one community, it was over 3,000 Geiger counters uh, that couldn't find any radiation, despite the fact that they had to drive past millions of one-ton bags to get there. Top Tokyo doctor dealing with nuclear workers demanded government steps in to because the workers at the plant, some of them can't even read. Data shows a large spike in deaths in Idaho, particularly infant deaths in the 14 weeks following Fukushima radioactive fallout. And for a lot of people, it's kind of hard to wrap their mind around anything nuclear. And this is what they're counting on is that it's basically that they've turned you incapable of recognizing danger. Infant deaths were also up in BC, Canada, collaborates to US studies. But if you're watching TV, they're gonna make sure there's no way that you can take it seriously. An update of the study, which was um, Janet Sherman, it was the main author. And the study is 20,000 excess deaths in the United States in the six weeks after Fukushima. And if you look at the American government and their legacy, then guess how much trouble you're actually in.
U.S. government secretly injected people with plutonium. Disabled school children were fed radioactive oatmeal. Think about the content. Like, they knew what they were doing. They needed some victims. And so they took the most vulnerable, the children. And this is something we see all the time. Three workers suffer cardiac arrest at Japan's waste incineration plant. Have you ever heard tell of three people suffering cardiac arrest at the, on the same day at a workplace? In Fukushima City, which is 70 uh, miles away from the nuclear meltdowns, seven people dropped dead on a single street, on the same street in one year. Do you have a street like that in your community? Fukushima Daiichi worker died from heart attacks. TEPCO questions over the fatality rate at the plant and said, because he died of a heart attack, it didn't matter. Well, as I showed you earlier, heart attacks is one of the first things that show up. The World Health Organization, Fukushima workers had radiation doses over 10 sieverts in their thyroids. These are lethal doses. They died um, not too long after that. It's absurd doses we're talking about, by the way. High thyroid radiation doses in 178 Fukushima workers. Officially, nobody got hurt. Not a hair on anybody's head. Nothing anywhere worldwide in 80 years from the nuclear industry. That's how crazy they actually are. That's the official narrative. Highly significant qualities, quantities of fission products are flushed into the environment by water, used at Fukushima molten fuel, including plutonium and curium. And the radioactivity recirculate for generations in the ocean's food chain. Mass media is the biggest criminal and the worst in TEPCO. Mind-boggling, mind-boggling. Mind-boggling cesium levels far from the nuclear disaster. Massive radiation leak. Extremely high levels being detected outside the reactors. Experts warn of a global threat. So there was a lot of people that tried to warn you, and there was a lot more that tried to cut your throat like James Hansen has never stopped doing it, by the way. This is a government study. Radiation near Tokyo spiked to 100 million times normal. Intensive contamination hit Tokyo. Intensive. Extremely high levels detected. And information about the radioactive contamination was hidden from the public. I mean, he picked up 30 million one-ton bags. Now they're telling you that the amount of emissions is equal to one sixteenth of a gram from a thousand tanks each year. Each of the bags got more than that into it. And they emit to 30 million of these bags. You are in real trouble and you need to act appropriately. That's another model of the Fukushima plume heading across the planet. It eventually covers the entire planet. Let me try this again here. You need to respond to this. Maybe if we uh, relabel TEPCO and call him Trump, everybody will yell at TEPCO. 
Does that make sense? Japan nuclear operator tampered with video images of the fire to hide the scale of the disaster. And who's going to challenge TEPCO? You know, nothing got out, but you abandoned all these communities and schools and universities, and malls and car salesmen and jewelry shops and banks and graveyards and everything else. He ran away and left it all behind, not because of tritium. The mayor said so many people in Japan are now saying they can't trust their own governments. Manipulation of radioactive uh, radi radiation information. Like they had, they had a serious event, right? And as it's very difficult to wrap your mind around the scale of this thing, if you're not familiar with the story, right? It there some serious, unbelievable, not some, but a enormous amount of heartbreak. And I, I can't put myself in their boots and comprehend what's going through their mind. I can't do that. I can't even imagine it, but I can sympathize with it. And by proxy, you know, they're, they're distracted, right? They, you know, they're heartbroken and they don't understand what's going on in the background, how, like they picked up 30 million one ton bags. When you see the bags like this in a community, people are moved back into the community and told that it's harmless and innocuous and benign. And they Photoshop pictures like this where they pretend they're coming out of a nuclear meltdown with paper suits on. Everything about it is a nightmare, but to pretend during so much tragedy, so much heartbreak, and then pretend that there's no adverse side effects should worry everybody on this planet. Author, farmer exposed manipulation of radiation data, employees wash monitoring posts, by high pressure water and change the whole soil. They change the whole soil. Cesium-137 levels are 100 times the normal levels in Osaka, 350 miles southwest of Fukushima. Not tritium, but cesium. But meanwhile, everybody is distracted by the agony and the heartbreak and, and the misery. And I get that. but. We have to focus on the issue because we're 12 years in real issues. Fukushima is nearly as serious as being attacked by nuclear weapons. It's way worse. It's, it's uh, equal to um, magnitudes of all the nuclear weapons tests combined don't compare to Fukushima's emissions. If facts were known, all citizens might have left Tokyo. No, they, they should have. The world community should have demanded they evacuate Tokyo permanently. Use of nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. We have to think of this equally as the use of nuclear weapons. Yes, nu nuclear energy and every facet of nuclear energy is just one big stupid disease factory. Japan newborns were treated like guinea pigs for study of nuclear weapons and radiation. Stillborn babies secretly shipped to United States to places like Los Alamos National Laboratory or Brookhaven or Savannah River or all these laboratories. They shipped around 4,000 victims from Nagasaki to Hiroshima and then ashed their remains to sniff it for radioactive plutonium and other isotopes. Stillborn babies secretly shipped to U.S. So imagine how sick, how demented and sadistic and twisted nuclear scientists actually really are. You really should. You owe, you owe your loved ones that. Organ samples and medical records of more than 1,200 babies 
uh, died after birth after being carried by mothers who survived the atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki were sent to the United States. But it was around 4,000 bodies were also shipped. 77,000 newborns were studied between 1948 and 1954. Newborns were treated in the same way as guinea pigs for the studies. And that's what your current radiation standards is based upon for certain applications. So hang your head in shame if your loved one works in the nuclear industry. Japan's radioactive crops are being shipped to cleaner areas and mixed into the food supply. And because you, people were distracted for a long time, right, they, they were mesmerized uh, by the tsunami, rightfully so, I mean, my goodness. But a single reactor is worse than the tsunami and the earthquake long term, see? And uh, 14 prefectures were banned by 55 countries. And rightfully so, because he picked up 30 million in just Fukushima prefecture of one ton bags. 98.6% of the time, air contamination around Fukushima is not measured. TEPCO says it lacks qualified personnel to change the filters. Like, if it's near Fukushima, the, the machines are all broken. You have to send them away to get calibrated when they're exposed to big doses of radiation. And if you're at Fukushima anywhere, it's big doses. Yoshi Shimatsu rode in there on his bicycle, and he had three Geiger counters. All three of them broke that day, and most of his teeth fell out over the next couple of weeks. Japanese researcher, the time of worms, they remind me of Godzilla. 95% of the worms died. Survivors grow 10 times the average size when raised on Tokyo soil. Tokyo soil. And everything in Tokyo is contaminated with radioactive fallout. And it's not tritium. Please, uh, the people that you put your fate in to protect you, the people that you want to trust, to do the moral and ethical thing, to hold these types of people accountable. Isn't that why you have police? Well, they don't have the authority. It's not illegal to poison you with radiation. Your Congress, your parliaments, your diets don't have the authority to make it illegal to poison you. Only the non-regulatory, nuclear regulatory agency has that authority, and there's zero, zero possibility you're going to do it or have ever done it. So why is nuclear excluded from poisoning you? Why is that even conceivable or possible? Because if you made it illegal, they couldn't use it in the hospitals. And that's your favorite place to kill your loved ones is in the hospital where your guard is down. Agency funding project to monitor online information about Fukushima Christ, around the clock monitoring of blogs on nuclear power and the Twitter accounts. What do you think they're doing to me, the only person on the planet running an educational program? You got thousands of public relation firms got to justify their paychecks. Who do you think they're going to put in that piece of paper? It ain't going to be you. Public outcry over Japan's government monitoring tweet and blog posts 12 million yen, which is about 57,000 U.S. dollars, to censor Twitter being spent by the city starting to burn radioactive debris. Disbelief is Japan government discontinued radiation monitoring program weeks after the meltdowns had been operating for over 50 years, which is a world record. had been operating for over 50 years, and after Fukushima, they took it out of service. The Japan Prime Minister feared the country would collapse because of Fukushima. Well, yeah, they, they should have abandoned Japan. 
One Fukushima may be destroy the whole country. One Fukushima may destroy a whole country. One Fukushima may destroy a whole country. Collapse of a whole country is possible. Well, of course it is, if you're realistic. Picking up 30 million one-ton bags of radiation, if that doesn't convince you that nuclear is stupid, then guess who is stupid? This is um, 2011, the Fukushima 50. This, this picture was by the last picture of the Fukushima 50 taken by the media. And what the workers done was they put tarps over the Fukushima 50. That's the official story. Tarps over the Fukushima 50. So, you know, reporters won't harass them. But they're dressed in suits. There's no way to know who they are. They all look the same. And these paper suits are pointless. TEPCO claimed they burned 7,000 paper suits a day. And they're incinerators. 7,000 a day. 7,000 a day. Paper suits. The paper suit needs to be six feet thick lead to protect you. Scientists fear Fukushima radiation hitting U.S. to worsen. Billions are being exposed. Reactors will continue to pour water into the Pacific forever. But I mean, like, everybody's distracted. You know, had a big tsunami, had a big earthquake. And there's even people out there refuse to acknowledge the earthquake. The disinformation machine is so effective has made people incapable of being rational. Like, I, I get it. I, you know, I, I get it more than most people because I gather up all of this. This didn't just show up in my computer on its own. I gathered each and every picture, each and every story, all the documentation, one at a time, over 12 years. I I don't have any illusions. I've been at this... And literally, my fingers are worked to the bone trying to help you and protect you and inform you. And the world has done nothing but shit on me the entire time. Single Tokyo Ward has 13 schools with radiation levels above safety standards. You can't fix that. You can't decontaminate that. You can't repair that. You can't find... A lot of the radiation with these Geiger counters. Once the Geiger counter finds radiation, then you gotta send that Geiger counter back to the factory to get recalibrated. And so once that's set off the first time, the rest of it is not gonna be accurate. And then trying to use this to quantify whether they're radioactive or not, this was the evacuees originally, is is beyond dishonest. People are traumatized, and at the same time, the industry has seen an opportunity to manipulate the population, keep feeding them that stuff instead of this stuff. Radioactivity is 6.15 million becquels a square meter detected 60 kilometers from Fukushima. So we're not talking about tritium. We're not talking about tritium. When you pick up 30 million one-ton bags, or when you even acknowledge that they picked up 30 million one-ton bags, then you're being, you're starting to be realistic. You're starting to open your eyes. You're starting to understand the bigger picture. And when when you accept and refuse to um, denounce the official version, particularly the July the 13th onward, now the reactors didn't melt down, now there's no bags, now there's no issue, now nuclear is carbon free and clean and green, too cheap to meter again. 276,000 becquels a kilogram of radioactive cesium from soil samples near Tokyo, almost 18 million becquels a square meter. 
soil samples and then ground uh, 30 centimeters deep 30 centimeters down were for cesium 134 at 124,000 becquerels a kilogram in Tokyo. For cesium 137, 152,000 becquerels a kilogram in Tokyo, 30 centimeters deep, a foot below the surface. And the total you're looking at of just those two. And what about the other 600? How come we're not including them? So soil samples at the surface level was a total of 155,000 becquerels a kilogram of just the gammas, the cesiums. So that's 300, that's 450,000 becquerels in a square foot of soil. Multiply it by madness and get the true numbers. Rain caused 29 million becquerels a square meter in the soil. High radiation levels near Tokyo. It's not a link to Fukushima, it is from Fukushima. The officials admit that decontamination is only for reducing external doses, not for internal doses. And these paper suits can't protect you. Don't you love these pictures where everybody's looking in and walking in a different direction with brand new paper suits on? If you fill up the tanks with the numbers we're talking about, you can't stand there and survive it. There's a lethal dose right away. You won't make it that far, that close to the tank. And if you fill up the tanks, you can't build another tank on the site. Severe labor shortage uh, for Fukushima decontamination, fears over radiation exposure. Fear. Fear over radiation exposure. Like, I, I get the disconnect, I really do. But that don't mean the issue is going to go away. That, that doesn't mean what happened. is irrelevant. Like, I, I understand, unfortunately, the apologists that are lying to you understand everything I showed you, every little bit of it, and many, many more. And ultimately, when you look at you know, it's hard to comprehend the propaganda over the years that they use to indoctrinate everybody. And a lot of people, can you remember the comic books, all the comic books you read when you were a kid? Can you remember all the propaganda that they hit you with in your, you know, SpongeBob and uh, the Simpsons and the Hulk and Spider-Man? The, uh, the list is so long, one can barely wrap their minds around it. Bear with me, just want to get some more pictures for everybody. There we go, we're back in business. You know, it's a lot out there saying less than a foot ran through the site. Does that look, that's Fukushima site itself. Does that look like it's less than a foot? Do you realize that that went through the reactor buildings? Do you realize that went through the common spent fuel pool? Do you realize that the storage for the dry cast is way lower on elevations than these part of the site is? Uh, how come nuclear scientists, nuclear academics, nuclear universities, nuclear students don't go there? And we should send nuclear students there. And people say, well, Dana, they're just kids. They don't know any better. 
Yeah, but you're going to grow up and destroy your future too. So why take the chance? Upper five intensity on a scale of ten, a seven, which works out to an 8.28 .8 earthquake on international scale. This one of the helicopters was bringing water to Fukushima. The Fukushima 50 worker, it was like a death mission. We were ordered to go back into the plant without any explanation. explanation. They wanted pictures to say that people were working, see? So what if they died? They got their pictures. That's how the world actually works. The Economist, which should be banned worldwide by anybody with common sense, originally started telling the truth originally. Like a lot of media originally came out and did tell the truth, but after a couple of years, that stopped. Something strange was afoot during Prime Minister's visit to the plant the Fukushima 50 were muzzled. We're all Fukushima 50s now. Fukushima 50 special unit, unit 4 boiled dry, raising the specter of a nuclear fission chain reaction. Feared nearby nuclear plant would be evacuated. Look, when the first images came out was this Every nuclear scientist, nuclear academic on the planet knew this was game over. Every one of them. There wasn't one in the regulatory agencies. There wasn't a single person in the International Atomic Energy Agency or UNSCLEAR or ERP or the IPRC or any organization that didn't look at that and says, wow, that's gone. And each of these buildings have around 10 reactor cores stored in them which makes it worse than all nuclear power plants worldwide meltdowns in history combined in each of these buildings. And there was four of them that lost their entire 40-year inventories. It's easy to quantify that each of these buildings is at least 100 Chernobyls, each of the buildings. Worse than that. U.S. government was secretly planning to evacuate 90,000 Americans from Japan. Fukushima 50 was forbidden from speaking to the public, terrified of agonizing death from radiation poisoning. Well, all the reactors, the heat signature shows the total loss of all buildings. Mafia ties behind some lawmakers pushed to nationalize TEPCO. Three of Fukushima 50 were local bosses or soldiers, says the journalist. Think about that insane statement. Radiation food going to be a nationwide problem. Well, you picked up 30 million one-ton bags, for goodness sakes. Of course it is. Japan announces cooling system restored at fuel pools. At number one and four's breakdown of cooling occurs at number five pool. Uh, you, you can't restore cooling to reactor three. It doesn't even exist anymore. Unit 3 went bye-bye. Not maybe or not almost, but it, it went bye-bye. Unit 4 went bye-bye. Unit 2 went bye-bye. Unit 1 went bye-bye. And the fuel pools are gone. They're gone. You can't restore cooling to a pool that doesn't exist. And that's May 2011. So say June, May the 29th. So they're claiming they restored power and cooling to the buildings that don't even exist anymore. That's quite the neat trick, I would think. What we know is a great unknown to all of mankind. Ten sieverts an hour outside, the levels must be much higher, closer to the reactor core. Much higher. Green tea with over 1,000 beckles a kilogram of cesium in Paris.
green tea with cesium. The consignment of radioactive tea from Japan was detained by customs in Scumbag, France. Reportedly, the tea was en route from the Shizuku Ka Prefecture, central central Japan, Ex which is uh, exceeded the European levels, which is 500 becquerels a kilogram. Like this is genocide at 500 becquerels a kilogram. That's genocide. The product will be subject to destruction by a special. You can't destroy uh, radiation. All you can do is liberate it back into the environment. If you drop it in incinerators, you're just going to burn whatever it's stuck on and it floats away and finds something else to harm. Two sievers per hour are found at the surface of water in the basement. Uh, how do you find that without dying, I wonder? And, you know, you're talking about... You can't get near these buildings. These are lethal doses. These are incredibly lethal doses we're talking about. 3.6 sievers per hour detected at rainwater drain pipe. Tepco professor. Uh, funds a chair and professorship at MIT. Uh, the third biggest contributor to TEPCO is, uh, or the third biggest contributor to the International Atomic Energy Agency is TEPCO, aka Japan. Uh, let me put that another way. The third biggest contributor to the International Atomic Energy Agency, the third biggest donor, is Japan. I'll get it right at some point. Nuclear researchers have a stake in reassuring the public that nothing bad is happening. TEPCO confirms steel... steel no, TEPCO, of course, they're going to downplay it by a thousand for the most part. Steam coming up from underground at reactor number one from the Ch uh, China syndrome at 4.7 sievers per hour, 20% more than in June. This, like these are lethal doses right away. And there were six places where it was 10 sieverts an hour coming out of the ground, where the, the whole site had to be abandoned. No, nothing got out, Dana. Only 2.2 grams of tritium, Dana. Yeah, whatever you say, monster, but... How come you don't care about... humanity? Why, why, why do you hate these people so much? The, the plume covered the entire planet in 19.5 days. 19.5 days. Japan government is trying to stop the citizens from taking their own radiation measurements. Uh, and they protested for the first couple of years, but then they got manipulated, they got taken over by groups like SafeCast and that, and their future then was permanently jeopardized and compromised. Prime Minister Khan, 30 million in Tokyo, faced evacuation scenario, 30 million. Well, he said if number four fuel pool caught fire, he would evacuate Tokyo. Reactor three kicked the fuel pool a thousands of feet into the sky. Excuse me, I'm burping here. Thousands of feet into the sky. The fuel pools and the reactor cores are falling out of the sky, for goodness sakes. He didn't because fear of mass panic and chaos. So just leave him there to get sick and die of a thousand plus diseases from radiation.
Tokyo was hit with an unnoticed, and I showed you some of that earlier documentation, wave of Fukushima radioactive material heavily contaminated, high concentrations. And instead of evacuating them, they decided they didn't want to cause panic and chaos, despite that's what you're supposed to do. So, like, how can you call that a power industry when it destroys the future of humanity and 8 million species, which is guaranteed now. That's guaranteed. Because we have so many cowards on this planet. And these are the carbon buckyballs, the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs, that are created by enormous heat and spraying salt water on it. And then uranium, plutonium, americium, neptunium, all the real stuff that they refuse to acknowledge, gets uptaken into the center of these and become super particles. And they're very mobile and they're very energetic for long past the human experience on the entire planet. Fukushima Daiichi pushed Japan to the brink of evacuating metropolitan Tokyo 30 million residents and the national collapse, says former prime minister. Well, like, so they said Fukushima 4 didn't collapse, and then they showed you that picture, and that's why they said they didn't evacuate Tokyo. And the numbers in Tokyo are shocking. And done the same thing for Reactor 3, where they faked that. But uh, Reactor 4, like this was the original footage. Reactor 4, there's no way to misinterpret it that it's gone. There's no way to misinterpret it. If you're even just a, a fraction honest, then you're going to have to. So think about the craziness of the story was you see the stump, which should have been razzed to the ground. That stump, right, right here, stops here. They put this contraption there and claimed that the fuel pool now is what it looks like up there. Japan Prime Minister, fiction versus fact. Fukushima contamination has never done any damage to Tokyo. This is Shinzo Abe. I believe. A radioactive water at the plant was blocked. And no, that's right, it was Shinzo Abe. Tokyo was contaminated, though, and the radioactive water is constantly flowing, not leaking, but flowing out to the sea. And it's not impossible, almost impossible, it's impossible to stop. And like, so the sewage, the garbage, the... Um, the sediment from water filtration facilities, all of it is too radioactive to get rid of, in Tokyo, for instance, which quantifies the assertion that this should have been abandoned. And then nuclear wouldn't exist anymore, would it? And we would be trying to prosecute everybody in the nuclear industry for their horrific crimes against humanity and the 8 million species over the last 80 years. At some point, you're going to be so sorry you didn't do that. I'm prosecuting them for you, though, every day, if that makes you feel any better. The national government issued a guidance on May the 12th as to how to dispose of the radioactive sludge and slag in Fukushima Prefecture. The burned the radioactive sludge and store the burned sludge, which is the slag, in containers. So burning radioactive materials is a dirty bomb. That's, what, that's the definition of a dirty bomb. If you take the same stuff to Canada or America and burn it, that's a dirty bomb. They'll do documentaries calling you evil forever and ever and ever. There's no such standard for radioactive sewage treatment outside of Fukushima Prefecture or anywhere else worldwide. But why are they burning all the radioactive debris, and there's billions of pounds of it, is uh, such an important question. Do they really hate us that much? Well, you better believe they do. It's more than you will ever dream. Widespread contamination throughout northern Japan, including Tokyo, entire region would be required to be posted as the radiological area. Yeah. Tokyo should be abandoned immediately. You should abandon it when you finally come to your senses. 
And don't worry about reactor four, worry about reactor three. And they faked, this is the official picture of reactor four that doesn't even exist. They've done the same thing for reactor three. Tokyo drinking water is unsafe for infants. Well, if it's unsafe for infants, it's unsafe for everybody else. Fukushima followed the Canadian embassy in Tokyo at 225,000 beckles a square meter. The only time we see you. That's runaway numbers we're talking about right there, right? The iodine-131. Which I always consider the iodine reports such a betrayal, right? In Tokyo, in multiple locations, 350 beckles a kilogram at the garbage facilities. You can't get rid of the garbage or the, you know, the ash at these facilities was 70,000 beckles a kilogram, for goodness sakes. Cause we've been covering this for years, so. Surges in airborne radioactivity releases gone on for years, 25,000 times and then some of the considered normal levels. Massive amount of radioactive groundwater flown into reactor one and four, from reactor one and four, I should say. Contaminated water levels up 40% since June despite decontamination. You can't decontaminate. This is 2011. You had no control of the site. Considered to have damage in the walls of the buildings. Again, going on the premise that nothing got out. Homeless people are being sold to companies and put to work on Fukushima. Not academics. Not scientists. Nuclear scientists are not going near Medusa. UN officials is astounded that the homeless are taken to Fukushima. I mean, U UN shouldn't be astounded. They're the purveyors of all this in the first place, aren't they? What's astounding is all the, uh, all the Hollywood, you know, where's the Hollywood? Where's the musicians doing concerts about nuclear? Where, where's... Well, we know where reality is to run away and abandon humanity. And the biggest mistake we have ever made is trust a professor. That's literally one of the biggest mistakes and we'll live to regret um, is we trusted a single academic ever. Mentally disabled are working at Fukushima says the journalist. Many men are forced to go to the plant. Homeless are treated like disposable people. Now you're treated like disposable people because you didn't speak up for the victims of society. Japan will be ruined if the public doesn't realize they're being exposed to Fukushima. 99.99% .99 of the people are being sacrificed and the rest of the world will be taken down too. It's the duty of the scientific community to reduce the public's fear and anxiety. Now, the scientific community is supposed to tell you the truth so you can make informed decision. Claiming there's no health dangers from almost a siever a year, 876,000 microsievers. And they don't lose their degree. Fukushima Prefectural Health Advisor. Uh, those who smile have no radiation damage, only those who constant worry. He's in charge of the health surveys for the prefecture, this creature. Now to go there, you got to go past millions of one-ton bags to tell that lie. Fukushima has humanity on the brink of a possible worldwide nuclear holocaust. The effects on our health are incomprehensible. Well, they're not, if you're honest. They're not if you're being realistic. And there's a lot of people that are not, like getting your picture taken in front of thousands of one-ton bags of radiation. His parents should be arrested for raising somebody that's stupid. 
So go down in the nuclear wasteland, get the name of everybody that lives there, hunt them down and tell them how wonderful nuclear is. See how that works out for you. The mentally handicapped are working at Fukushima and often given worse suits. What's worse than a paper suit? A second-hand paper suit? Look at this uh, taped, IAEA taped on the back of their shirts, TEPCO stickers on their paper suits. These are paper suits, pretending they're in a building that don't even exist. The mentally disabled are working at Fukushima, not the International Atomic Energy Agency, not nuclear professors, for goodness sakes. They'll kill you if you try to take them there. The homeless are treated like disposable people. They're treated worse than that. Uh, KPFA in Japan, I've learned over 800 people disappeared from Fukushima and may have been killed or died during work. Not may, I guess guaranteed. How can you go to a nuclear wasteland with millions of one-ton bags and then write an article and say there's nothing there? That's what the journalists have turned as like as you can see there's stories from back beginning where they were telling you the truth. How come that stopped? Some people are not being given food, have no place to go. We can only work momentarily, it can't progress. We always need new victims. Uh, scumbag Gunnarsson, degenerate Gunnarsson. Just what a betrayal, eh? Gunnarsson took great pride in hoodwinking the entire planet that was paying attention to him. What Gunnarsson done to you, man, it's just really something. He made the racks for the fuel rods assemblies. So if he don't know they're gone, who does? And if you can't trust somebody that knows the difference, like Gunnarsson is very vocal. So the biggest fear remains very precarious, spent fuel pool number four collapsing in a quake. Number four is long gone. It's gone. The, the fuel pools are at the top of the building. Should Gunnarsson be held accountable for this? There's no law, right, to stop him from doing that. It's, it's completely up to him or anybody else to lie to you. It's not illegal to poison you, murder you with radiation. If I had a chunk of radiation and your children had a birthday party and I brought it there and they all died, you can't convict me of it. It's not illegal. They hate your guts and they made sure that you can't protect yourself by doing that to you. Japan government report, Fukushima is worse than the quake and the tsunami. Fukushima is an apocalyptic disaster will haunt the future generations. And the world now is an experimental lab with humans as the guinea pigs. And you have no idea how true that statement actually is. Ability for Unifor to withstand another seismic event is rated at zero. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty zero. Former Fukushima Daiichi, I believe the country would be evacuated if number four fuel pool collapsed. Well, the fuel pools are at the top of the building. Let's have a look. No, it was not there. Country should be abandoned. And so should America you know, and Canada. Former UN advisor, if number four fuel pool collapses, what do you mean if? Like, and so you got all these well-placed key people with uh, huge contacts in the media telling you if that happened, when it already happened by day six. It's a disaster of humanity, the entire world is on an international level. Professor, it's really a dead zone. No butterflies, no birds. 
and dramatically fewer species. Why it doesn't matter to you in the United States? Because the reason is it's coming. It's coming. Well, I mean, it's not just coming. It came, and it's, it's never going to go away. This is the American's Noah's model based on 40 days. And it's only based on venting. It's not based on the actual meltdowns in those inventories. You know, 13,646 children with tumors out of 40 or 38,000 is equal to 358,000 out of a million when you scale it up. Previous is one in a million children a year would be diagnosed with thyroid tumors. These are tumors. These are two centimeters tumors. And the thyroid gland is three centimeters by five centimeters. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million beckles of radioactive isotopes in urban areas. This story, uh, Washington, there's all nuclear power plants for hemorrhaging radiation through the fuel pools. So it's hard to comprehend what the fallout from that really looks like. A nuclear plant produces snow in Pennsylvania. This is 30 miles of snow from a plume from a nuclear power plant. And the nuclear, all nuclear power plants are hemorrhaging radiation. These are death machines. You're, you are being exterminated worldwide. If you never had a single accident, if you never had anything ever dumped, the fuel pools of all the nuclear power plants worldwide will eventually kill everything on the planet, every species. Berkeley professors, they're so quick to stab you to death, it's ridiculous how much they hate your guts. New push to dump radioactive Fukushima water into the Pacific, 2013, or boil it in large kettles and release the steam into the atmosphere for years which is what Lake Barrett and Ernie Gunnison done at Three Mile Island after everybody stopped paying attention. Why are you sleeping? Why are you not fighting back? Do you got any idea what kind of beating I would give the nuclear industry if some foundation supported me and funded my operation and how much research we can actually pull off? You're missing your golden opportunity for the future. Your legacy is running away. Massive radioactivity releases in Fukushima for three years straight. Massive radioactivity releases. The official story is nothing got out now. Essentially, Fukushima is a machine for washing radioactivity into the sea. I've launched research expeditions for six years straight towed it behind the sailboat, and I've done the whole coastline year after year after year after year after year. I've been under siege that entire time. If you look up my name, you'll find so much ridiculous, revolting attacks upon my reputation in order to denigrate the truth. A concerted effort worldwide, worldwide to destroy every facet of my name so you won't take the few lousy minutes to learn the truth because they fear that worse than everything. This is a, one of the starfish that I found very rare to find anything. You're looking at baby barnacles, all of them are destroyed. No adults on the coastline whatsoever. Now, the official story as of July this year is that nothing got out and over the next 30 years they're going to release the amount equal to two of those one gram coins of tritium into the environment that's the official story it's been a hard week we had you know i'm not allowed to live stream no more not because i have strikes on my accounts on youtube or rumble but because of Japan has ordered them not to let me stream. They got no one else to pick on. They got me absolutely barbarized. I'm totally destroyed. I don't have a life whatsoever. But I'm still forced to come here every day, work like a dog, 
in desperation that the world will come to its senses. I haven't given up on you. Please don't give up on Earth. You need to make a stand. This is your one opportunity. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll see everybody on Sunday night when the hell continues. We'll see everybody on the next show of misery from this industry. It's a perpetual misery machine. Is there any way you can describe, describe the nuclear industry? It's a perpetual misery machine. Take care, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. The day after, hopefully Sunday, if nothing goes wrong. <laughs>